This is a showdown. It is a very tasty cocktail, which you should definitely try. Let me show you how to make it. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt, I'm the Whiskey Nerd, and like I said, this week I'm making a showdown. Now, the showdown is a whiskey-based cocktail using the Sexton Single Malt Irish Whiskey, pineapple juice, lime juice, sugar syrup, and a little bit of Angostura bitters, and the recipe for the cocktail actually does come from the Sexton themselves. Now, I'll put a link to the Sexton's cocktail page below because they have got some really kind of interesting cocktails, but this one really caught my eye because it uses pineapple juice and lime juice, and they're both really tart juices, but I find that when combined with whiskey, they give a really nice flavor because the caramel, oaky, rich flavor of the whiskey really does balance out those tart juices in the pineapple and the lime. So let's get to making it. This is a shaken drink, so we're gonna get our shaker tin and we're gonna pop a nice rock of ice into there and then we're gonna measure out the rest of our ingredients. We're gonna start off with our whiskey. So this is gonna be 45 ml of the Sexton single malt Irish whiskey. This is a four or five year old single malt whiskey and it was entirely aged in Oloroso sherry casks. So it's got a really nice depth of like fruity sweetness that really does come through into the whiskey. We're gonna be following that up with 15 ml or half an ounce of pineapple juice, 15 ml or half an ounce of lime juice, freshly squeezed, always use freshly squeezed if you can, and then 15 ml of sugar syrup. So it's essentially equal parts whiskey and then all the other sweet ingredients. And lastly, we're just gonna go in with two dashes of Angostura bitters, one, two, and that's it, simple, straightforward. We're just gonna pop the top on the shaker tin now and shake it down for about 20, 25 seconds to get it really nice and really cold. Okay, that is nicely chilled. So we're gonna pop the top off our cocktail shaker and we're gonna get ready to strain it out. We're gonna be putting this into a rocks glass with another nice fresh rock of ice in there. So we're just gonna pop our strainer up top and strain it out. Oh yes. And because there was pineapple juice, you do get a little bit of foam in the cocktail just on top. And that looks really good, but as a final finishing touch for a garnish, we're just gonna put a little bit of dehydrated pineapple over the edge, just like that. And that right there is a showdown. Now real quick, before I taste this, if you're new here, scroll down, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button. I put out whiskey cocktails every Friday and whiskey reviews every Wednesday, so if you want to see more like that, make sure you hit subscribe. Cheers. Oh, that's really, really nice. It's really, really rich. The whiskey has this really nice syrupy texture because it was aged entirely in sherry casks. You get this really rich, dense, syrupy fruitiness, and that really does tame back the tartness from the pineapple, from the lime, the little bit of sugar syrup, does help it kick it over the edge, does make it nice and rich, and the Angostura bitters do come through, but really the start of the show is the whiskey. It's got this kind of um, rich caramel note to it, as well as the kind of the maltiness from the single malt whiskey does come through. It's just really nicely balanced. It's a very nice cocktail. I mean, it is starting to get colder outside, so sometimes summer drinks like this do remind us of warmer times, but this is really nice, it's rich, it's warming. The bit of spiciness that comes through from the whiskey is nice and refreshing, and just a really, really nice drink. So you should definitely give it a go. I'm gonna keep on enjoying it, and I will see you next time. Sláinte.